So let's check it. Okay, now I think we're ready for a recap. Sirs and madams, wherever you are, thank you for your time and attention as always. Today we are doing composing a ballad in C full tonality part 11, moving on. In today's episode, we did a couple things. We reviewed where we are, and we have, as of today, successfully added passing chords and bass chord arpeggios to variation one, two, and three completely. We also, before we began doing all that, as a way to attract ourselves to keep completing this and move onward, talk about where do we see to go next with this composition, and we identified drum beat especially, uh, working with dynamics and tempo, which we call orchestration, uh, timbre, uh, instrumentation, contrast, looking how we arrange things, and then um, a text lyric that might have a verse and a chorus, chorus since this is, after all, a ballad. So, we also made adjustments. We had a couple places where it looked like there was no room for passing notes, and we were able to tweak that and adjust that and get a passing note in there, learn some techniques from that. And there were a couple places, well, one place that we didn't quite like the transition between the two halves of one of the lines, and again, we're able to adjust that. So what we're going to do is play the first variation, then the second variation, and then the third in all of their current arrangement. Get that lined up for you. And what we want to listen for is, again, that each line has an energy. The hook is the recurring theme that goes four times and then suspending and wrapping and all these different energies should be consistent across all three variations, even though the fundamental driving cadences, core bass chords are different. And all are enriched with these passing chords. And we said the passing chords emphasize the melodic line because they are completely not included in the cadence. And the arpeggios completely reinforce the cadence because they're simply the cadence spread out in time. And then the one place where it all comes together is in the melody, which has beat notes which are in in the cadence and passing notes which are by definition not in the cadence and are in the passing chords so here we go ballad variation 1 c major traditional chords
Here we are, ballad variation two, C major, extended chords. And variation three, C full tonality. These are chords that cannot be found in C major or C minor, but can only be found if you push the scales together. Thank you for your time and attention as always. We'll see you in the next stream where we go forward. We have a big list to choose from. What we have done is successfully created three variations with five layers using traditional extended and full tonality chords. As always, keep on streaming. <laughs>